in this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to show you a simple little concept that you can use out of the shotgun bunch formation that will basically make it so that your opponent has to stay honest whenever they're defending your gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're talking about the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook uh, that's the playbook that i'm in that's the playbook that i would recommend if you want to run the gun bunch offense although we have an ebook on the gun bunch that covers pretty much every gun bunch in the game or at least every major bunch concept that you can run from pretty much any bunch in the game as long as the concept is in your playbook so if you want to learn how to run the gun bunch be sure to join my patreon membership by joining the patreon membership you're going to get instant access to not only my gun bunch ebook but all 13 of my madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks so if you're interested in taking your madden game to the next level i would really encourage you to join the patreon you can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video but in this video we're talking today about the gun bunch dig return i'm going to show you an interesting little setup that you can do from this play and we're going to show you a couple different versions of the concept now the first concept is something that i really like to use whenever my opponent is running a lot of match defense. So as you see here, we're just gonna put some match on the field. All we're gonna do is take the slot, we're gonna streak him, and what you're gonna see is against pretty much any match coverage in the game, this is gonna be a one play score. So this is a very versatile play, however, because of what we can do whenever our opponent decides that they don't want to run match against it but what they want to do is they might want to run some underneath coverages so as you can see right here we're going to run some underneath coverages here and all we're going to do from a setup perspective is we are just going to take the slot and we're going to put him on a slot apprentice post we're going to take the running back we're going to put him on an out route and then we're going to take that solo receiver and put him on a vertical fade so it looks kind of like this and at the snap of the ball, you're going to look real quick to your little routes underneath. But if they're covered, this little post route right here is really, really effective out of the gun bunch for a couple different reasons. The first reason is most people are used to defending the deep crossing route from verticals, right? So that is going to require them to drop their zones back to 30 or to 25 uh, yards. The other reason why this is so good against a defense like that, though, is is because if you take a look, you can throw this at multiple points. If they blitz you, you can throw the ball right there. And if you notice that that zone drop cut, um, that catch is going to happen right at about the twenty, right at about the twenty yard mark. So another reason uh, that I really like this concept, though, is you have like the ultimate check down in this little zig route to Brown or this return uh, like deep zig. What you're going to see is against pretty much any coverage in the game, you can just throw that right there. And that's going to require them to put their yellow zones at five yards. So the cool part about this is now they have to kind of really mess with and kind of tinker with having a vertical hook on this side. They have to have a hard flat on this side. So it might look, the defense might honestly look something like this right here. And then on this back side here, not only are we going to have to have a cloud flat but we're also going to have to have a hard flat as well and then the user is going to be in the middle of the field so now what we're going to also be able to do within this concept is we can take this uh, running back and we could create something like this if we wanted to where we have a little wheel route out route concept so it's still going to clear out all those zones but you still have this zone on the side or that post on the sideline now i will say with that because of the fact that we don't have zone drops here the players covered it significantly better uh, than they would in a regular game okay so that's kind of the beauty of this play this play is really designated whenever you start to get a lot of double mabel this is a very very good concept now if you want to what you can also do out of this is you can take the back and put him on a ghost route or a simple option route i love those two reads um, against man that'll turn that into an out but again zone that's going to sit over the middle and oftentimes it'll hold their user just long enough that you can hit that post over the top so again this is one of my favorite little plays it's real simple but it's real effective i want to also show this to you against kind of a general uh man-to-man -man concept just kind of something basic here something like this what you're going to notice about this route um your post route of the middle of the field will beat man your option route will beat man and then your little zig route right here you notice here uh, i can pretty much throw that against any coverage and that zig route will be wide open so that's another reason or another piece 
as to why this is such a good concept. Now, if you wanted to leave this double move on the left, you certainly could. If you want to put a skinny post, you certainly could. But I really like just to run him on a simple, basic, clear out route. And then again, like I said, against any coverage, it really doesn't matter. So like you'll see here, here's just a base cover to sink. We can throw this zig route all day long. And it just comes down to who they're, who they're going to use her. Most of the time, they're going to use her this post. Just telling you from personal experience, most of the time, they will use her uh, the post route. Okay, What that's going to do then is it's going to leave this little whip route, and it's also going to leave that little running back route over the middle. But if they use her the zig route, or if they have a five-yard vert hook, for example, on that side, then what they're going to be put into a situation is they're going to have to do something like this. So let's say, for example, you get a coverage that looks kind of like this. And they're using, again, in the middle of the field, right? Now, we know that they're going to use her the post route because that's probably the most likely thing they're going to do. Well, now what you're going to have late on, or early in this play is this little check down right here to the back. And you can just get yardage like that. So I love this concept. Literally beats every coverage in the game. If you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense or if you just want to get better in the game, like I said, I got 13 ebooks over at my Patreon membership. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go join that. Again, it's only 10 bucks to join the Patreon, but uh, as soon as you join, you get access to everything. All the ebooks are in there, uh, everything. You have a personal messaging platform with me where you can ask your questions or get everything answered. So, again, if you're looking to get better at this game, I really would consider you to, uh, to tell you to join the uh, Patreon membership. Again, there's a link in the description. So if you want to join, head on down to the description. Click that link down below and check out the uh, ebooks.